Hello and welcome to the Out of the Sandbox video guide to the collection page setup. Today we're going to take a look at the settings associated with configuring your collection page if you're using one of the most recent versions of the Out of the Sandbox themes that use the sections interface. So that would apply to Responsive version 6.0, Mobilia version 5.0, Retina version 4.0, and Parallax version 3.0. So if you're using a previous version of any of these four themes and you would like to take advantage of the new sections interface, you're going to need to update your theme. So you can do that any of your favorite ways, including heading over to the Shopify app store and downloading the Out of the Sandbox theme updater app. With a quick use of this app, you can update your theme, then go through and quickly reconfigure your homepage using the robust new homepage settings. All right, but we're not talking about the homepage today, we're talking about the collection page. So before we actually jump in to take a look at the settings that we can configure, first we're going to need to take a look at what we're already working with here on the admin panel. So here's the admin panel of one of my demo shops here, and I'm gonna show you that under products, we already have products on the admin panel. So these products have titles and descriptions, types, vendors, tags, all of the attributes that you would expect to see with a product. Additionally, these products have been categorized into a couple of collections. Some smart collections, collections that are created and refined using a condition versus a normal manually selected collection like this one. This collection even has a collection image. So products and collections are configured on the Shopify platform. If you needed any assistance with the actual configuration of products and the categorization of products into collections, then check out the Shopify documentation for all of the help you'll need in that area. But additional to the products and the collections here under online store navigation, we also have some menus created. And you can check out the Out of the Sandbox uh, homepage setup video associated with your theme to see how to create the drop-down menu, but you're going to need to at least create a main menu that has the ability of accessing the collection page. So I've done that here by creating a drop-down menu that accesses the two collections. Now the reason it's important to set up a way to navigate to the page, and here I am on a different admin panel, I'm gonna head into online store, themes, and then into customize theme, where you will see the new Shopify sections interface where there is a preview of the theme on the right and you have settings here on the left separated into these two tabs sections and general settings. So for the four themes that we're going to be talking about today the settings are pretty much the same for the collection page and I will point out where there are any differences um, but to access all of those settings you need to go to a collection page. So I'm going to navigate to one here through my main menu and here we are, and as you see, the home page sections have been replaced with the collection page sections. So that's how you can access the entirety of the settings. But before we actually jump into the section settings, I'd like to show you the general settings that are associated with the collection page. And they can be found here under general settings, product grid. So here are our first batch of settings that we can play with. The first one being the products per row on mobile. So let's jump into the mobile view here, small screen, so that we can change that to, let's say, one product per row. That's what that looks like. Jumping back to the full screen view here, I'm going to show you that we can change the height of the product images and set the height here with this product image height setting. And this is a great setting to use if you've got product images that are different heights and you'd like to make them a consistent height. What you would do is enable the align height of product image and then set this to the height of the shortest product image that's appearing to allow all of those products to appear aligned on the collection page. So I'm going to leave it at this size here and then show you that the price can be aligned left, center, or right. Also appearing here in the thumbnail, we can show the vendor. And we have the ability of showing the sale banners, which you can see here. There's this sale banner and the new banner. The sale banner is enabled by setting a compare at price for your product that is more than the regular price. 
and the new banner here has been created by making a collection titled new and then adding this product to it. You can also enable the color swatches to appear. They're not appearing here because these products do not have any variants, but I do have an example here for you. Here is the Los Angeles demo, which has the color swatches enabled. I'm going to show you how to configure the color swatches in the product page video, so stay tuned for that. Scrolling down from those settings in these product grid settings, we have the quick shop setting. So that allows us to enable and disable this feature. So in the parallax theme, it appears as this plus icon. In the other themes, you can expect to see a button, a quick shop button, but this is what it does. It displays almost like a little product page right on the collection page, allowing the shopper to add the product to the cart right from the collection page or navigate to the full product page and you can control how much of the description is displayed here by changing the product description truncated words setting here. So those are all of the general settings that apply to all four of the themes that use the new sections interface. To show you the section settings, I'm going to use this Austin Leather Goods Retina theme example. I've navigated to a collection page through the navigation here, and the settings along the side now reflect the collection page settings. So here they are. I've got a products per row setting that could be set to two, three, or four. I'm going to keep it on three to correspond with the number of products in our collection here. We've got a products per page setting if we were working with a collection page that had numerous products. This is how many products would appear before the pagination would begin. We've got the ability to show the breadcrumb links, which are the links that appear up here. They're called the collection links in a couple of the themes. We can have the title appear or disappear. And then here are our two selectors. We've got our sorting selector. Now these are Shopify's default sorting orders, and this gives the shopper the ability to change the sorting order of the collection page. But you as the merchant can also set a default order. Here I am on the admin panel. You can go into your collections menu here and open a collection where right above the product listing you can choose a default sorting order. And that's the order they will appear whenever the page loads, and then the shopper can go ahead and change that with the selector. And just to note that manually here corresponds with uh, featured in on the site. The next selector I'd like to show you here is the enable filtering by product tag selector. So I'll enable it here. It displays in the top right corner beside where the sort by dropdown would appear. And when you use it, you're selecting out of a list of tags. So these are the tags associated with the products that we see on this collection page. And as we choose a tag, it filters out the products to show just products that have that particular tag. So these are wallets that have no pick holder versus these wallets that do have a pick holder. And here I am on the admin panel just to show you that it's right down here in the tag section that you can add that tag. If you're using the Mobilia theme, it's pretty much the same, only the tags actually appear right on the collection page up to a certain number. And you can limit that number over here, maximum product tag links. And this is the threshold before the links start to appear in a dropdown. So as you see, there are three here. I'm going to put in two as the maximum product tag links, and now they're appearing in the dropdown as opposed to listed. So just a bit of an exception with the Mobilia theme. Now that the settings have been rebuilt for Shopify sections, we have a very robust sidebar feature. So let's take a look at it. The sidebar is configured by adding these content blocks down here in the content section. So I'm going to start by adding my first content block, and I'll add this tags list. So the tags list is just like the tag dropdown that I showed you, where you can filter through your collection using these tags. There's the collection list block, which looks just like this, which is a listing of all the collections on the shop. Similarly, we've got a listing of all of the types of products here on the shop, and a listing of all of the vendors. So for those first four blocks, you can put one of each, since you don't want to repeat these listings of links. However, the next 
four sections, uh, sorry, the next three sections here, you can add as many or as few as you would like. So the first one being a menu, where you can select any of the menus from your navigation setup to appear here in your sidebar. Additional to the links, you can do a section of text that can be configured right here in the settings. So you can configure your heading, obviously. And then you can configure this text. And in text boxes like this that you see in the sections interface, you can bold and you can italicize text. And just to let you know that if you wanted to start a new paragraph, you can use the Enter key. But if you would like to render text on the next line without starting a new paragraph, you can use Shift Enter, just like that. All right, our final content block to show you here is a block of page content where you can select any of the pages created on the pages interface of Shopify. Just add one here for you. So this might be a bit of a long sidebar for a page like this, but I just wanted to show you what all of your options are. Um, not only that, you can easily just click and drag to reorder any of these sections. And then if you wanted to add another menu, text section, or page section, fill your boots. You can add as many as you like. Then, if you would like to give the shopper the ability to expand and collapse these links, use this toggle sidebar content, which will create a sidebar that looks like this. So you can toggle these various sections open or closed. Before we head out, I'd like to show you some of the special features that we have for the collection page, starting with this collection page banner. So here we are on a parallax demo, and we've got this banner appearing along the top of the collection page. With the parallax theme, it happens to be a parallax style scrolling banner. In the parallax theme, you will find the settings for that banner image right here within the collection sections settings. You can choose a custom image, and then you can set the height of that image to set the height of that section. Alternatively, you can have the featured collection image show in this position instead. And that's actually how it works on the other three themes. So if we're talking about responsive, retina, or mobilia, to create a banner at the top of your collection page like this one here, on the collection page itself, on the collection edit screen, you're going to add the image as the collection image and choose the collection.banner template as the template for the collection page. So that applies to the mobilia, responsive, and retina themes, whereas if you're using the parallax theme, you'll find the settings right within the collection section settings. Finally, we have the sub-collections style of collection page. So I'll show you an example here. Under this shop link, instead of going to either of the drop-down links, I'm going to go right to the shop link here, which brings me to this special page that I've created, a special type of collection page that instead of listing products, it lists other collections. So these links then lead to subsequent collections. And I'll show you how that's built. So here we are on the admin panel in the collections area. I have created a collection called Shop, and I have not included any products in it. You could include products, and they would appear below the collection links. And I have set the template to collection.subcollections, which is a template you'll find in all four of these themes. Then you head over to Online Store Navigation, where you make sure there is a menu set up that has the same title as the collection title. So we, here we have a menu called Shop that leads to these two collections. So not only is this creating our drop-down menu, but this also creates that sub-collections style page. And as you see here, the images that get pulled into these positions are the collection featured images. The section settings here are pretty much all the same except for an extra collections per row setting up here that you can change to reflect the number of collections that you'd appear you'd like to have appear here. And if you had products appearing on this page, you still have a separate setting to control the number of products per row. So those are all of the settings associated with configuring your collection page with one of the new sections versions of the Out of the Sandbox themes. Of course, if you hit any snags or had any problems, head on over to support.outofthesandbox.com where you can ask your question and find a plethora of resources to help you out. My name is Sean Campbell. Thank you for joining me for this video guide. Take care.